Britton Wilson is the NCAA indoor champion in the 400 meter. And she won that meet in style. She didn't just win. That would have been too easy. She ran the fastest 400 meter time ever recorded in college. And that's indoors or outdoors. And if that didn't shock the track world enough, the 400 isn't even her real event. That would be the 400 hurdles. Britain still has collegiate eligibility remaining, but it's clear she is the future of sprinting. And there's only one real question now. Can she catch up to Sydney McLaughlin? Cause she's already racing the record books and her track record suggests that the smart money is on her. And here is why. Britain has been a special talent on the track for a while now. She's a defending champion for the NCAA outdoors in the 400 hurdles. And she finished fifth at the world championships behind, of course, Sydney McLaughlin. She also won gold in the 4x4 at Worlds. And by the way, in her college season in 2022, she won the SEC Outdoor 400 and 400 hurdles. And that's hard to do in any conference. The 400 that she ran was 50.05, which is already faster than Sydney McLaughlin's PR. But her dominance goes a step further because this indoor season, before she even got to the NCAAs, she broke the indoor collegiate record in the 600 meter. And that record was held by a thing Mo, who coincidentally also holds the 400 outdoor record, which is already slower than Britain's new PR, indoors. By now you can see where I'm going with this. Britain isn't just fast. She is in line to become one of the best 400 meter sprinters ever. But she's a 400 hurdler. So it seems to be clear that she can run fast enough to beat Sydney McLaughlin. The only real question is whether she will do it. Cause Sydney is the greatest 400 hurdler ever because of her ability to stride through the hurdle. She runs almost as fast with hurdles as she does without, which is why her world record in the 400 hurdles is less than a second slower than her open 400 PR. That is not normal, but I've seen it before. As a college runner, I had a teammate on the men's side who he would run very similar times in his 400 hurdle races to his open four. And it's a byproduct of how his body relaxes through the 400 hurdle race. But the coach in me knows that hurdle races should go to the fastest sprinter. Cause if hurdle technique is equivalent and steps are counted between the hurdles, it's pretty simple math that whoever's faster is gonna win. Britton Wilson is already faster than the only woman who can actually beat her. She just has to figure out how to hurdle well enough to get the job done. And there's no guarantee she'll figure that out. But nobody saw her breaking the 600 meter record indoors either. She's been shocking the world in whatever event she runs and breaking records has become a habit for her. But Sydney McLaughlin has been so dominant for what already seems like forever. It's hard to believe she can be beat, but that should be the goal for Britton Wilson. How long it takes her to get there is unknown, but there's no good reason to bet against her because the track record is already speaking up for itself.